there are few models out there which are best described by showing look at this image and keep looking while i drag this slider i'm dragging it on the left and then i'm dragging it back to the right all the way to the right can you believe that let me do it again just keep an eye on the features and the skin texture on the right hand side is our pcm and on the left hand side we have our lcm in this video i am going to describe to you what exactly this pcm or phased consistency model is this consistency model is a promising new family of generative models that can generate high fidelity images with very very few steps just two steps normally under the unconditional and class conditional settings on the left hand side you see there is lcm lcm stands for latent consistency model that tries to replicate the power of consistency model for text condition generation but they generally fail to achieve pleasant results especially in low step regime which is one to four steps but this pcm or phased consist consistency model is a much more successful extension to the original consistency model for high resolution text conditioned image generation better replicating the power of original consistency model for more advanced generation settings in lcm there are three main drawbacks and what limitations should i say so for example if i just go all the way here this is lcm at the moment all for you and this is our pcm so you see the difference now let me go back so look at this lcm and then there are three limitations first lcm lacks flexibility for cfg choosing and is insensitive to negative prompts so that is one thing secondly lcm fails to produce consistent results under different inference steps its results are blurry when step is too large or in other words it is also called as stochastic sampling error or small inability lcm produces bad and blurry results at low step regime you can see it is quite blurry now let's go back to pcm how beautiful that is let's try out few more examples so i am just clicking on these images this is lcm or deformed this is pcm let's try out pikachu you see this is pcm how vivid how vibrant how crystal that is and lcm is quite blurry and also not that formed similarly look at this dog uh, cat one cat and dog there is a c difference between these two and it is just a design space now there are a few other examples for example look at this motivation summary figure where there is a lcm loss pcm loss when there is a lcm loss uh, look at the quality and look at the step 2 pcm loss similarly look for example in the second row how lcm is evolving whereas look at the third row where pcm is evolving you can tell the difference by just looking at it what is happening here is that in pcm they are generalizing the design space of consistency models for high resolution text condition image generation by analyzing and tackling the limitations in the previous work of lcm also the thing is that diffusion models from a continuous time perspective actually define a forward condition probability path with a general representation so this is quite a remarkable property that there is a reverse time ode trajectory there are a lot of information there where there are just infinite probable paths for reversing the st and if you keep looking at few other examples look at this how vibrant how vivid our pcm is with the diffusion amazing amazing stuff this is diffusion excel plus pcm there are heaps of other examples you can keep looking at it and keep marveling that how beautiful this looks amazing amazing stuff 
Okay, that's that's the end. You see how beautiful all the images are. Amazing quality, amazing, amazing quality there. Now, I could go on and on about this. The thing is, uh, which I really want to mention one uh, time is that can, there is another learning paradigm comparison. For example, in consistency trajectory model or CTM, it is pointed out that CM suffers from the stochastically error accumulation when applied for multi-step sampling for better uh, sample quality and proposed a more general framework along for arbitrary pair moving along the ODE trajectory. So for example, if I go up and look at this one, and look at these quotes, this is what it is de describing in um, graphically, which is more easier to understand. You go look at these scripts. I mean, these look so real. Amazing stuff. Look at this. Amazing, amazing stuff. Look at the sound. I mean, you could just keep looking at it and you could marvel at the quality of it. Again, look at the prompts. And this is a comparison on the very left LCM, simple CTM, STXL lighting, and at the very end we have PCM. Look at the difference between LCM and PCM in all the images. Look at this. LCM is nowhere to be seen here. There you go. You see? If you scroll down, look at the vibrancy. Amazing stuff. So you see the prompt is an ancient tree with a face, eyes gently closed. Its branches spread wide, covered with moss. Look, this PCM really looks good. Look at the LCM. And to be fair, LCM doesn't look that bad, but it's blurry, all in all. Amazing stuff. So, look at more examples. So, all in all, I believe one of the best uh, model I have seen in a long time when it comes to LCM and PCM. So, let me know what do you think. I think amazing, amazing stuff and things are moving so quickly that it is hard to even imagine that once LCM was so popular and everyone was talking about LCM. And with this PCM, I think this has just taken it to another level. Uh, by the way, they also have um, got a GitHub, but I don't see any code there properly. Uh, but I will drop the link to it in video description. Go through it. Maybe they will be uploading the code soon. And also this says that Hugging Face demo, but when you click on it, it doesn't take me to any Hugging Face. They haven't really put it in there. So it will be good that if they could share the code and Hugging Face demo so that we could play around by ourselves. So if you like it, then um, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, and if you already are subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.